pancreas, grasshoppers, egg, electrical wire. <laughs> Last one. Meow. 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 Probably a good thing because shit keeps getting touched in here. Yeah. There's some weird... Wi- it happens like it's the ghost. It's the ghost. You know, if you, if you know my ghost story, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. But yeah, last episode from this studio, our first studio, and we're moving on. I mean, the next one's pretty much going to be the same situation, uh, just in a different location. Mm. Instead of beautiful downtown <laughs> Coeur d'Alene. <laughs> It'll be, be in, not as beautiful. It'll Spokane. be Spokane, Washington, right next to the washing machine. Some places are beautiful in Spokane. That's yeah. true. There's some spots That's down true. by the river that are pretty nice. That's true. Fine. We Fine. love our town, damn it. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't care. Mm-hmm. You talk shit about it. <laughs> not my hometown. I've always thought that weird. It's like some, oh, come on. This, this place sucks. You know, what? <laughs> like, dude, you didn't make it. You just you just happened to be born there. Chill out. <laughs> Fuck you, man. Yeah, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I didn't, it's not mine. I didn't make any of this. I'm the owner. Happened to be born here. <laughs> um, yeah, what would you say about America? <laughs> so, recording uh, some weeks in advance uh, so we can get the studio moved over, but exciting stuff. We're basically going to get done right now and then just rip everything out of the walls and, and get to the next spot. So, can we go eat first, though? Yeah, of course. Of course. Um, something you want to see on the show, make sure you send that in to hey guys at can you don't podcast.com. Thanks to everybody who continues to send in your confession. Confessions. We got some lap time with Uncle Zach but topics that people would like to have covered. Uh, just anything you see weird. Of course, hot air balloons that can make it. Um, and speaking of lap time, we are doing lap time on the show today. Yeah. Can't wait to sit on his lap. Yeah, I'm just going for you. Get on right over here, a little Zach. Warm it up for me, Zach. Get it chubbed up. You got that kitty cat with you out there? Up. She, she ran away, but oh, yeah, she's looking at me. Chloe's your little lap warmer. She's mm. so nice. And then you have a, a friend that had some natural disaster shit show happened to him you yeah. want to give us a little rundown i mean fires all the time in this part of the country yeah. we are used to that every august you're like okay let's see how many things burn down mm-hmm. that's it and one of them happened to be the house of one of the nicest dudes he okay. happens to be a musician he's a metal musician and an acoustic musician he didn't have homeowner's insurance he saved <sighs> his whole life to get a house and he unfortunately didn't have insurance he lost his house his tiny house his rv his recording equipment which he's a prolific recorder <sighs> All his guitars. And so he has a GoFundMe okay. that you can find, and we'll probably link it in the description. Yeah, we'll link it in the episode description. So if you if you do uh, have that hit a little little heart chord with you, yeah, head on over to the GoFundMe and, and send some money to a stranger. We also have scatcast.com. There's eight spoons made by the Spoon Man from Spoonworks. Spoon Man! And they're wooden, beautiful spoons. They're Scatcast Originals, and they're 30 bucks a piece or whatever okay. you want to pay above that. And that's all of that's going to Daniel, too. So. Okay, very good. That's awesome. All right. Yeah, we will link in the episode description. And so many homes were lost this year. That was, it was sad. That was like 200 or something. Yeah, yeah. It was just a mess. You know what's, you know how the human thing is, is I remember being like, God, this air quality sucks. <coughs> I can't even go outside without my chest hurting. I so smoke you while I'm watching football on my big screen TV. Yeah. Ugh. Well, I, under my house roof, <laughs> making it through the AC that I have. Mm hmm. Uh-huh. That's like uh, kind of goes back to the last lap time we had with the with the monkey thing. What was yeah. it called? The monkey sphere. Monkey sphere. Like how many oh, things man. can you care about? Not yeah. those people. <laughs> yeah, fuck them. Well, you can care about them, but you just forget about them quick. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for sharing that, Zach. That's awesome. What you're doing for uh, for Daniel? He's got a long and way to go. He Thank sure you. does. But man, that sucks. Um, all right. Well, we're just gonna we're just gonna jump into the show today. Uh, enough of the bullshit up front. You guys ready to do it? Let's dive in. Let's fucking do it. Hey, Zach. Hey, shut up! Start the show already. Okay, I'll fucking start the show. Start, dude. What what are we what are we talking about today, bright guy? Uh, well, this was sent in from Abby. Hi, Abby. Yeah, dear Abby. Dear Abby. Yeah. Uh, would you <laughs> would you, would you be an egg for one year <laughs> if at the end of the year you got a million dollars? What? The catch is that you have to put someone in charge of making sure that you don't break. Oh boy! If they, if they break you on purpose. They get a million dollars, but if they don't, you get a million dollars. Do you man. pick a stranger or someone you know? Oh, for sure, someone you know. That's a lot of uh, a stranger. I'd be like, yeah, no problem. And then the second they turn into an egg, I throw them into <laughs> you a wall. Just throw it in the wall. <laughs> I just do squash it. it. The whole wind up. 
Like while they're yeah. giving me the spiel, like I'm stretching my throwing arm. Yeah. I'm like, oh fuck, warming I got you. your rotator cuff up. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, no, of course I wouldn't fucking throw you. And like, you know, got my, put my ba- put my baseball mitt on. <laughs> like, yeah, of course I'll take care Get of you. Get a spoon out to you know, for the scratch. Yeah, you're already course. spending money online. Massive <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that's no great. Worries. Yeah, click. Yeah, <laughs> click, 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 click. Mm-hmm. Get this Lamborghini. Uh, like you, but you want to do it like you got, got like a radar gun to see how fast you throw the egg. Mm. You're like, no, I'll take care of you. You're throwing other eggs <laughs> to, warm up. to warm up to warm up yeah you wouldn't go to a chef would you no like you're walking like, while they're making scrambled eggs like cra- cracking eggs open like you could take care of my egg yeah, yeah of course <laughs> smack Absolutely. it on the counter Absolutely, do that drop it in the pan that just reminds me real quick uh they uh look what i or look what look what we found whatever the fuck segment's yeah. called um uh, there is an egg story oh there is yeah and fuck it's kind of it. it's pretty interesting a little egg theme yeah a little, it's got <laughs> got i got an egg thing going on here. <laughs> uh, uh, but back to the Stranger, no way. No way. What the f- A year. And here, okay. Here's something to think about. And when you say they got to protect the egg, like, are they, they have to carry it? They're sitting on it, warming it. <laughs> uh, like, do you, do they have to bring it with them wherever they go? That seems like they can just put it somewhere. Yeah, you could put it in a safe. What? So you could be like, hey, mom, I, this is going to sound crazy. I'm going to be an egg for a year. <laughs> You're not going to see me for a year. <laughs> what are you going to be? What are you going to be doing? Are you going to go on a trip? No, I'm just going to be an egg. And I'm going to need you to put me in this safe. Mm-hmm. And you'd spend, I mean, you could spend five grand on a nice fireproof, bombproof egg safe. Yeah, I don't think those, e- even, even safes <laughs> that are flame proof eventually burn. God, just thinking like the worst things happen and putting your mom or someone you really care about in that position. Yeah. Like, I don't, I mean, this is not going <laughs> to, I'm not trying to tie, tie Daniel back in here, but say that I put Daniel, the guy who's lost his house and everything in the fire, and Careful. I put him I put him in charge of the egg. Careful. Careful. No, I put him in the charge of the egg. We're best buds. He's like, yeah, fucking no problem. I trust him with everything. And then the house burns down. He loses everything, and he looks at your you, your egg, and he's mm-hmm. like, if I get smashed, it's like yeah. a million bucks. Get myself right back on track. Way You'd be ahead. House. You'd be a nicer house. Yeah. You'd be you, way ahead. Like that, your house burning down would be the best thing that's ever happened to you. And you just smash that egg and you got a million bucks. He's not going to have to face you. Like, it's Are not you like, dead once it's cracked? I would think so. Or do you like, it's cracked and all of a sudden you're <laughs> like, like a, a genie. Ball? Like, Phew. yeah, you like. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? Your face. Yeah. <laughs> and you have like, to face you. <laughs> you slam it. You co- you co- magically come back out and you look at your buddy. He's wearing a Gucci suit. Yeah. What the fuck, dude? Sorry. So, I, I got you one. Yeah, I got, I got you one. That'll help, right? <laughs> anyway, and he reaches in his pocket to answer his phone, pulls out of, like money. He's like, shit, like, talking to a brick of money <laughs> instead of his phone. He's like, fuck, dude. No, I'll, oh, I'll get, wrong we'll, pocket. I'll catch up with you. I'll catch up with you, right? Yeah. <laughs> that, I, no, that'd be H slit, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Drives off in a fucking Hummer stretch limo. Like, fuck, Daniel. He's not even riding in the stretch limo. He's driving a stretch limo. <laughs> he, he, he just always wanted to drive a stretch limo. <laughs> he owns an egg factory? Yeah. You're well, like, you would, you'd have to at that point. <laughs> yeah. Incredible edible egg. I love how that if you crack the egg, uh, you reappear. So now you have to face that person. That because that like makes that? it okay. I like that because then it's like you reappear and you're like, dude, what day is it? And you're like, that it's been, changes. It's some been stuff. three days, and you're like, good god, <laughs> you <laughs> lasted three uh, days. Yeah, it's been one minute. Like, oh fuck! You're in this giant mansion. Itty bitty living look space. Look at this place. Yeah. Itty bitty. <laughs> Phenomenal cosmic power. Itty bitty living space. Um, but yeah, you've got you just reappear at this guy's mansion. <laughs> Check it out, dude. Yeah, dude. Look what I got. Sweet. <laughs> Pretty cool. Where's my room? Oh, uh, well. <laughs> you can have the the pool house. Well, all the sex workers took the top floor. Yeah, all the sex workers. So I mean, you can stay in the bathroom. They're paid for the through the next year. You can stay in the thirteenth bathroom downstairs. <laughs> it's uh, right down there on the left, and then the, the second. Thir- it's only it's a the, half. It's the bath. tenth left. Yeah, it's the tenth, tenth left down that hallway, bud. <laughs> uh, and please left. take your shoes off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I want you to track an egg everywhere. <laughs> you peasant. <laughs> Good night. Um. So stranger, no way. I mean, that, I'm, I'm not missing something, right? Zach, do you see anything on why you would ever give an egg to a stranger that someone doesn't like? They don't give a fuck about you. You have shitty friends and family. Like, yeah, but all you need is one good friend. Yeah, well, that's I, w- easy. I would they- never choose the stranger. Yeah, but what if you went to like the the uh, Dalai Lama or something? Ooh, like some there's some guy that Ooh. just doesn't care about wealth or I wouldn't go care to about a, wealth. I wouldn't I, go to a. I priest. would go to the guy from Reading Rainbow. <laughs> I would go to- 
Lamar. <laughs> Reading rainbow. I can't go any. <laughs> um, but yeah, go to someone that's like pious as hell and <laughs> pious in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> something, something to fly. If something, look, it's in, in a book. book. Reading rainbow. rainbow. <laughs> Take a look. Oh, yeah, that wasn't what it is. Yeah. Something. Take this egg. <laughs> you just give it to an ostrich. They protect it. Well, that's the thing. Like, yeah, you give it, to, give it to a hen, <laughs> you know, that just, it'll just sit on there. your life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they will too, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you just kick and chicken. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Fuck chickens. They're so, so stupid. Let's say. I mean, okay, I love chickens. What if you. you know what I mean? think it's not good fighters. I you, kick them. They're not good fighters. Yeah. Let's say you went to a family member. Let's say your brother or whatever. And you're like. Here's the, here's the, you give him the whole spiel. Mm. Would he be like, well, Joe will forgive me. If, yeah. If he's, he's like, family. I, I'll, I'll give him, I'll give him 20,000. Yeah. <laughs> so you think, well, I'll find a family member. Th- they'll do it. But will that family take advantage of the situation? They're like, he'll understand. And uh, cause I'll cut him in on it versus like going to someone who's, uh, I'm trying to think of somebody who would just be completely selfless. Your parents, yeah, yeah. But I guess that's your mom. Thought. I mean, go to your mom. That's what I was gonna say. She's gonna be my sweet little Joey. She'll tuck you in, tuck yeah. your little egg in right. the night. She will put a little egg pillow under you. Yeah, like good night, Joey. Mm-hmm. Can't wait for you to not be an egg. Mm-hmm. Um, which they said the same thing, you know, when they're pregnant, <laughs> right? Um, <laughs> no, but your mom. She's like, of course, honey, I will guard this with my life. She dies. Mm. And then people are coming in to like clear out the house. Like, what the fuck is this? And they find it. Blow the safe up. <laughs> yeah. They get a million dollars. They're like, what the fuck? What happened? Well, could you Your imagine? Mom's dead. It's like us finding the peaches, you know, uh-huh. and then the thing. Like, Maybe someone just finds an old egg. Yeah. Immediately throw it against the wall. Yeah. <laughs> See what it smells like. What's so special about this egg? It's like on a, it's in a gold chalice <laughs> yeah. with a little pillow. Yeah. <laughs> it's well, a it's like Willy Wonka. A little blanket. She was a bad egg. <laughs> bad egg. Bomp, bomp. Veruca Salt. Bad yep. egg. She was a bad egg. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. So it's going to a, going to a loved one. <sighs> I would go. I would I, make a deal before. I'd be like, hey, mom, listen, you take care of this egg. I'm going to give you $250,000 in one year. I don't even think that would matter. She's like, this is my baby Joey. I know. Or if t- Let's just take mommy She's out. a kangaroo. A friend. Like, you just make that deal. And be like, here's what it is. Like. You're going to get royalties. Just keep this egg alive and you'll get quarter of a million dollars. But And, I, and then I guess wouldn't even tell them that if they broke it, they get a million. Definitely <laughs> well, don't no, do I that. Think yeah. That's yeah. The, that's the, I think that has they to be in to the know. clause. They have to know. That's the binding contract. Yeah. Find out who your friends are. And I like the idea that they could, like, what if they had to take it with them everywhere? That would definitely change. Oof, like, you have to keep, in your, keep you in a pocket. I think and, it, and if you died, like, let's just reverse this. Yeah. You had to bring it everywhere. And if it broke, you killed the person that was yeah. in the egg. I also love that, that idea yeah. of it. It's I love having day. to face them, but at the same time, like, yeah, if I, if this thing cracks, they're dead. I just sit in my house with a little throw pillow for a year, for a year, knowing that on the back end, I'm going to get some, get some money. You'd go nuts. Yeah, but you can get some money. You'd, I mean, you'd, you'd have so much money for therapy. That's true. <laughs> Like endless better help therapy sessions. Yeah. They like, you'd be blowing their phone up. <laughs> like, God, this is the 20th time Joe's called today. Hey, what's up, Barbara? It's me. I just want to talk Babs. about this. What's up, Babs? What's up, Joe? It's fucking 2 a.m. So I'm still at home. I just want to talk about the egg again. Is that okay? <laughs> I, I'm so lonely. I love it. It's it's like, is it really an egg? They think. <laughs> is it the egg that's the problem? Yeah. Or, I think. I think that's the problem. But no, it's like. <laughs> It's like, okay, what what does the egg mean? Mm. It's just an analogy Sorry. for you. It's like, okay, explain what the egg what is. What is the like, egg? No, it's an egg. It's an egg. <laughs> it, it's a. It's white. I know. I know what an egg you, is. You can sweetie. be honest with me. What's the thing? What's the trauma? Yeah, we have yeah. to embarrass. What's this? the elephant in the room? It's an egg. <laughs> the elephant's an egg. <laughs> I'll send you a picture if you. I mean, no, honey, I can't give you my phone. I know, but just let me send you a picture of an egg. <laughs> like just let me prove it. Like, let me prove it. This is not an well, analogy. Why don't you show me? Here's the thing. I can't bring it because if it breaks, my friend <laughs> dies. I think I don't think I'm the right therapist for you. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get you transferred right, over let there. Let me get you uh, to this Kathy. number to yeah to Kathy. She's an egg specialist. <laughs> Beep. Egghead. She's an egghead. <laughs> 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 hey, Kathy. <gasps> Hi, Bab sent me. 
<laughs> well, I got an gonna... egg. Um, yeah, I'm going to give it to I'm my going mom. mom. I'm going with mom. Zach? My mom's dead, so no, I don't know. Oh, that's a bummer. I would well, give it to put my it wife, in her though. casket. I would give it to my wife, because she would. I could trust her. Yeah. And we'd split it anyway. And then I'd, just, I'd turn it into a movie. I'd be trying to find that egg and smash it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Keep that. You have to keep that a secret. Because if you're like, don't tell anybody, if you smash this egg, you get a million dollars. Yeah. I'm like, all right, good night, good night. And the second the door closed, I walk back in and smash the yeah. egg. Third people, people break it into your house. I mean, million bucks, you could buy some new friends. <laughs> Someone goes in your house to rob the house and they, you know, you call the cops. <laughs> it wasn't ransacked. They didn't take anything. And oh, like, no. Oh, they run in and open up the safe. <laughs> the egg's gone. <laughs> the egg. Jerry! What? Oh, man. It's like, was it a dinosaur egg? What the fuck's going on? There's that one... I hope that people out there know what I'm talking about. There's a TikTok video of an, of an emu. And, um... Like, it's overdubbed about, like, someone stealing the eggs. And he's like, everybody, get your head down! And he's like, it's just the neighbor's car backfiring! Like, they're coming for the eggs! And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> fucking running off into the woods. <laughs> and my God, the way that... You know, because you know the way emus run. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just like... The head's like <laughs> waving around. He's like, get them down on the ground. He's like, calm down. <laughs> They're coming for the eggs. And he's sprinting away from the camera. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, you got to mm. look it up. Fuck, I, I feel like I just have to show you guys at yeah. least right now. Let me see. Yeah, I'm yeah. not sure if I've seen it. Okay. Uh, it's, it's one of my favorite like social video or like um, viral videos I've ever seen. Was the guy that did it named Greg? Mm, yeah, maybe. Emu and Greg. Oh, was- emu. <laughs> Liberty. Oh, no, it's Doug. And Doug. And Doug. All right, here you go. Oh, my. That was a gunshot. Kenneth. Everyone get your heads down. Kenneth. That was a drive-by attempt, Frank. <laughs> Kenneth, that was a neighbor's car backfiring. They're coming for the eggs. Kenneth. <laughs> They're coming for the eggs. <laughs> he runs right up into the, the camera. camera. <laughs> go, God. <laughs> I got to watch it one more time. Yeah, we'll I got to Oh, my. That was a gunshot! Kenneth. Everyone get your heads Kenneth. down! Kenneth. That was a drive-by attempt, Frank! Kenneth, that was a neighbor's car backfiring! They're coming for the eggs! Kenneth! They're coming for the eggs! Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the best I've ever seen. No. Oh, God! That's why I love Kenneth. birds. The way they run is, it's like chickens. They run like that. Yeah, but that when he comes up by the camera, <laughs> Well, and the way he turns around like yeah. his, his head's still facing the camera as his body's running away <laughs> that was a drive-by attempt Frank that was the neighbor's car backfiring coming for the eggs uh, good stuff you gotta look it up you don't, you'll, I promise you you'll laugh um, okay let's, uh, let's move on to the next thing I love the internet yeah, okay. I'm excited about it you, you tell Zach to do it no please try okay. it okay nope. Zach, Zach will you roll the thing hey hey what's up babe what are you thinking about Ah, uh, you know, nothing. Actually, you know what? I'm thinking about a lot of shit. What are you thinking about? If things go as planned for the new studio, we're going to have different chairs. How excited oh, are you about I'm that? I'm so excited. Because uh, these my, ones, I feel like mine's getting louder. My ass hurts and my back hurts. That's from something different. <laughs> yeah, getting getting ah, fucked yeah. by the chairs. Oh, yeah. Something, I mean, stool this, stool that. <clears throat> I appreciate your kind bedside manner, too, by the way, Brian. Thank mm. you for not yelling at a Zach. Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm classy. Okay. Yeah, classy. I'm throwing you down. Wow. Right Take that, buddy. Fuck. Bedside mm. manner, buddy. We They're do. coming for the eggs! <laughs> <laughs> All right, what are we doing for uh, that? Okay, this oh, is... Uh, I, I love when this one gets... What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Little shoulder. <laughs> Oh, nice. Okay. Nice work on the camera there. Yeah, good, good 90s cuts. Um, this is, uh, we're going to talk about this little clip from a show. Okay. This guy called in the BBC to talk about something. Okay. Yeah, house party uh, with some friends a few years ago. Uh, and a friend of mine that was playing the music connected to his phone, hmm. which is also it's connected fine. to his insulin pump and his <gasps> blood glucose monitor because he's <laughs> diabetic. Oh, God. I wasn't uh, a big fan of his music. So I, uh, instead of getting his passcode, I just turned off his Bluetooth and connected mine. About half an hour later, he comes and finds me. He goes, Tim, do you turn my Bluetooth off? Mm. I went, uh, yeah. And he goes, dude, you turn my pancreas off. That connects all my things up. <laughs> um, <laughs> his. And that, so then the, the host rambles on. What in the fuck? But I, I heard that and I just started, I started thinking like, <laughs> it's so like Bluetooth is amazing, right? Like it's, oh, it's, yeah. it's crazy. But the idea that like tech, uh, technology can be so fucking amazing and groundbreaking mm-hmm. 
And this dude could have just died because his Bluetooth got turned off on his phone. Right. Yeah, I, I, I have these That's same how fragile his life is. Did you hey, shut off my pancreas? Yeah. yeah. Hey, bro, did you shut off my pancreas? pancreas? The, um, like, uh, having a, what the fuck is it called? Called with the heart tick. Yeah. What's it called? Oh, uh, yep. The pacemaker. God, pacemaker. Pacemaker. And it runs like on a, on a watch battery. Yeah. It's, it's like, it's just fucking what? Yeah. <laughs> like, ah, I gotta go back in for surgery. The, the battery's about to die and the thing that's keeping me alive. Yeah. And it's just, you know, a little battery. Like all the crazy <laughs> things they have and the things that keep you alive, it's like <laughs> if the battery goes out or the sun goes down. Or if you stand next to like a, a magnetic wall, yeah. it's going to suck the battery the wrong way and kill you. Don't use yeah. the microwave. Yeah, don't don't microwave your chest. Like what? Is, it's Quit almost, with it's almost like it's a, it's a game. It's like how can we... How fragile can we make this thing that's keeping somebody alive? <laughs> Getting the pacemaker put in. I'm like, okay, no, we got you. This will be solved with the pacemaker. like, how, how much risk do you want? Because we can give you this battery. One through five. One through five. Yeah. Like, do you want to live on the edge yeah, a little bit? Yeah, live on the edge. Because we can give you these two tiny watch batteries that kind of look like, you know, the snakes that you let off on 4th of July. Mm -hmm. and, I mean, that's, that's high risk. <laughs> yeah, that's a or, five. Or we can give you this new one, and it just brings out this brick <laughs> fucking... Mm -hmm. This is like extended. It'll give you 30 years, and you'll be totally safe. But like... <clears throat> it's got a 30-year warranty. 30-year warranty is totally fine. Or you get these tiny little guys. Yeah. And you don't know what's going to happen You don't know when tomorrow. they're going to go out. What do you think? I mean, do you even like your life? Do you like to live dangerously? Mm-hmm. Um, and everyone picks that one. <laughs> the tiny, yeah. He's like, that nah, the other one doesn't exist. Just yeah, kidding. Just kidding. And this then, is all we have. This <laughs> is the best we have. And then squish the pass out medicine in. Mm -hmm. Whatever that is. <laughs> medicine. <laughs> Squeeze the bag. <laughs> you actually don't have a choice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Run, yeah, running his fingers down the tube to get make sure it all gets in. Yeah. Here you go. Good Clean God. it out. Go to bed. You'll wake up with a fucking tiny battery heart. It's like a tube of toothpaste. They're like rolling, <laughs> pushing it <Yeah>. out. <laughs> Going to sleep. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's the, like the Achilles heel of things has always been really funny to me. Yeah. Like one tiny thing. I know I've talked about this before, but, uh, war of world or war of worlds, right? The book, but it's also a movie mm -hmm. with, with Tom Cruise and crazy robots that take over the entire planet. And then mm -hmm. the cold, like they just get the cold, yeah. the common cold and it kills them all mm -hmm. like that type of shit. It's the same thing with technology and, and medical stuff. Um, it's like, kind of weird because that movie they're just indestructible they're blowing everything up uh -huh, they're killing everybody uh -huh. and then all of a sudden it just sort of ends and then it's like they got a cold yeah I'm like what <laughs> and that's I've had, it I've had this thought about a couple things I'm looking at recording equipment and this happens all the time like you have this piece of equipment that's thousands of dollars and then the fucking fuse blows mm -hmm. and you can't record that day because the 45 cent glass tube thing mm -hmm. was like Spark plug in a car. <laughs> yep. Shin splints. Yeah. Like you could be in the Super Bowl and you worked your ass off and mm -hmm. you got, you have a turf oh, toe. Oh man, my big toe hurts. <laughs> yeah. Guess I won't play in the Super Bowl. Yeah. Like it that, just hurts so bad. You can't do it. Yeah. That's some little shin splints. Like trying to explain that. Like, oh my God, my fantasy football player is on the <clears throat> injured reserve list. What happened? You, you look it up and it's like, owie tummy. <laughs> How we tell me? Yeah. Oh, I, 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 my, my little, my little pinky broke. I was going to use like, Get that. Get the fuck on the football field. I was going to use that as my example. I had Antonio Gates mm. as my tight end one year, and I had uh, what's his name, the quarterback for Chargers, Turf Toe. Uh, Jesus Christ, Rivers. Yeah, Philip Rivers. Nice. So I had Rivers and Antonio Gates, and Antonio Gates got um, the the heel thing. Uh, <laughs> He didn't fucking... sleep. He didn't sleep well. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> he was tired. I forget what it's called now. Uh, I'll, I'll think of it. But anyway, he was leading the league in touchdowns, mm -hmm. and there, I'm getting two touchdowns every time. And then he didn't play. The, he was made it like four weeks, mm -hmm. and then he got fucking turf heel, <laughs> An, uh, anti pleasure, whatever the fuck. Uh, what is it? Anastasia, help me <laughs> out, a movie? Zach. <laughs> what? Anastasia. It's it's uh, Anastasia. Play, anti play, uh, it's, uh, something. <laughs> Anti-fasciitis or plantar fasciitis. <laughs> there it is. Plant Anti-fasciitis sounds like a, like a political movement. Yeah, it does. Anti-fasciitis. Who are you fighting for? Anti-fasciitis. <laughs> Just fascists. People that are against fascists with bad breath. Right. They have different facets. <laughs> yeah. Fasciitis. Anyway, plantar fasciitis. He got that <sighs> and it fucked my whole year up. I was going to win the whole thing. Anyway, um, but yeah, like Star Wars, the fucking deaths are. Mm-hmm. Like you have this massive 
base that's indestructible except for a little hole <laughs> with a laser. Li- one little sliver. Yeah. Like, we get ever going to finish this part of the Death Star? Like, yeah. I don't know. It's not in the budget. Yeah. I don't know. We ran out of money, so. It'll be, I mean, is anybody else going to make it through this alleyway <sighs> without getting gonna, shot by who's that? Who's going to see that? No, yeah. I, I talked to Darth. Yeah, he's good. It's coming down from, from Darth himself, yeah. and he yeah. said, leave it. It'd have to be some space wizard or some <laughs> yeah. shit. He's like, he's like, I, he didn't want to deal with it. He put, you know, he, he choked me. He air choked me when I asked about it. So I'm not fucking asking again. You'd have to be like the most powerful Jedi ever <laughs> to ever make this work. Ex- excuse me? Like, asking for help or something that you need? Like you run out of toilet paper on the, on the Death Star and somebody has to go into Mr. Darth's office? <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Vader. Take, takes, his hel- uh, takes his helmet off. Yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, <laughs> I, I know you're busy, Darth. Um, <laughs> yeah. And you just hear that. Um, but we're, uh, uh, you know, yeah, I mean, we have so many floors and there's so many bathrooms and we just ran out of toilet paper. He's like, ah! <laughs> force, force chokes him. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Shitty butts. Every, should he bunch for everyone? I, I'm enjoying this Darth Vader voice you're trying to do. I don't even know what he sounds like. I don't even watch Star Wars. I just mm-hmm. know he exists. You don't watch Star Wars? He no. sounds like James Earl Jones. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> not you. Oh. That's yeah. That's that's Darth Vader, buddy. Yeah, oh. James Earl Jones. Yeah, I don't even know who that is. Um, Holy yeah, fucking guy! Yes, you guy. know who James Earl Jones. And is. quick, just quick thing before we move on to Dick, because <clears throat> whenever I, I think about this, I love to share it because it's just it is just so funny to me, and I do not remember. For the life of me, and I've tried to look it up. I can't find the comedian that did it. Um, but going back to talking about the he, like uh, Achilles heel, and you're like, oh, I'm just too tired. But this one comedian, it might have been a comedian, might have just been a talk. But anyway, he's like, he goes, I just everybody today, you know, with all like the medications for like all these things that are pretty human, like they're pretty human things, but they're being looked at as like something that should be curable and not just something that you need to learn how to how to handle. And he goes, I just can't picture people working on the railroad. And they're sitting there just, you know, clang, clang, yeah. clang, and it's 150 degrees, and clang, and he stands up, and he goes, God, I can't work today. And the guy turns and goes, why not? He goes, I'm sad. <laughs> I need a, I need a self, yeah. uh, self-care day. or uh, oh, He just throws his hammer down, and he's like, I can't do this. What's wrong, Bill? I'm sad. I don't want to be around anymore. <laughs> I'm sad. I don't want to be around anymore. <laughs> like you just, you just don't see that. Yeah, yeah. You just don't get to do that. <laughs> yeah, they didn't get to do that then. Yeah. <laughs> What's that called now? That that happens now. Depression. Well, <laughs> no, but there's like a there's a like the the gymnast when she didn't perform. What? <laughs> what is this a joke no like simone biles. A joke. i know what you're talking about i think simone biles she she didn't perform she got like a performance anxiety or something oh yeah but then she there was a term that everyone was throwing around at that time quiet quitting um quiet quitting <laughs> is that a real thing it's like it is it's, it's, like called, a, it's, it's called um pouting <laughs> i'm kidding uh, I, I don't yeah, remember I don't what know. it was, but it was like a term. Like, I, yeah. So, tr- trying to picture someone like that, like they're going into battle. Mm-hmm. It's like the North Charge! Saxons. It's like and the guy's like, "What? Where? Hey, come on, run!" And he's like, ah. I, just got, I a lot got a little of, performance anxiety. I got a lot on my mind right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we all do. Yeah, we all grab do. your fucking We're sword. We're all probably gonna die. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna die. And he goes, I know, and that's Pick really your sword. Sca- that's really yeah. scary. Yeah. So it's fu- it just fucks like, well, what are we even doing this for? You know, like, why, why are why? you raising your voice? Can we just talk about this? Yeah. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> Grab your sword and go stab. I want to have a meeting with HR. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I don't like the, I don't like your tone. I don't like your tone. You're making it worse. <laughs> Lieutenant Grant. <laughs> Ulysses, you're making it worse. Can you please keep your voice <laughs> down? Ulysses. You're literally spitting in my face. <laughs> Like, I get it. Yeah, I'm supposed to be a big, scary guy and go kill some people. I'm just fucking nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous. I didn't sleep well. At least I didn't get enough food last night. I got diarrhea. I'm I can't fight. Intolerant. I can't, yeah, I'm I can't fight intolerant. today. I can't fight today. I'm gluten intolerant and all we eat is bread. <laughs> I don't know. The vibe's off. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's wrong? I don't know. It's not feeling the vibe. <laughs> yeah, we're, mur- it's, we're, it's, we're raping and pillaging. 
I don't I like the don't, aura of the medical field. I don't want to do the raping part. Well, I, just don't, man, I just don't like the vibe of this. Yeah, he's like, I'll do the pill. <laughs> look, I'll do the pillaging. Right. Just not into the other I stuff. I don't want to do the other thing. He's like, well, no, raping and pillaging, That's, you have to do both things. It's a combo thing. Yeah, it's yeah. not a, we're just going to pillage. You have to also <laughs> do This that. isn't like a, a pick and choose buffet, buddy. Right. Like, we're doing both things. It's not all a cart. <laughs> yeah, all a cart, raping and pillaging. Yeah. <laughs> There's only two things. So, you got to do both. He's like, I'll just meet you on the ship. Mm-mm. Yeah, I'll cu- I'll do I'll wait here. I'll do it next. Uh, the next village. I'll do the next village. I'll do the next village. I just didn't sleep well. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. I did so much raping and so much pillaging yesterday. I'm fucking exhausted. <laughs> I'm. I need a little more sleep. I'm all pillaged out. I'm all pillaged out. He's like, fine. He gets all like, fed up about walks over, sets a hut on fire. Do you know how many people <laughs> you would happy? love the opportunity to rape and pillage, <laughs> and here you are. Not raping, <laughs> not, not pillaging. pillaging, just being sad. <laughs> You're pathetic. Got Gukanaka or whatever the fucking language Ivar would be. was dying to come out. <laughs> he was begging. He was basically yeah. grabbing my leg as we took off from port. I should have brought him. I just I knew he would be raping and pillaging. You're not fucking He'd having, be, being so nervous. He would be balls deep shits. right now. <laughs> having diarrhea <laughs> and fucking sad about it. God, I'm never bringing you another raping and pillaging adventure ever again. <laughs> Next time we go raping and pillaging, you're not coming <laughs> you're with. You're not invited. Get on the boat. Go get on the fucking boat. <laughs> but I like the idea of him throwing a little fit too. He's mm. was like, fine, dude. <laughs> like <laughs> like stomping like a his teenager. <laughs> big furry boats and his, his torch. He's like, Dug! fucking grabs like a, like a gold <laughs> candlestick and sets a hut on fire and turns around. He's like, there you have me. <laughs> there you go. I'm doing it. He walks over, like squeezes someone's boobs. I'm having so much fun. <laughs> You're happy. You're fucking happy. <laughs> and he's just like, God damn it. You know that dad look? Yeah, yeah. Just like, just, just, I'm not <laughs> mad. <I'm> disappointed. <laughs> oh, look at me, <laughs> look at me. raping and pillaging. <laughs> Walking up, like goes up to a girl, yeah, like yanks her necklace off. Ooh, I got it. <laughs> Squeeze her butt. Oh, it was so much fun. <laughs> just, are you happy? Can you make you happy? It's like kicking over fucking shit in the hut. Oh, this is what we do. I'm a Viking. <laughs> God, it's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on. We got to get some sleep dick. Does that sound good? <laughs> yeah. All right, dick stuff. Is it dumb? Is it interesting? Is it cool? Then it's dick, dick. All right, let's do some dick stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you mean like this? <laughs> <laughs> locks a family inside and sets it on fire. <laughs> they're screaming. <laughs> you hear them screaming. <laughs> oh, they're so scared. <laughs> this is so stupid, Dad. <laughs> Ah, I just want to go. I just want to go home. I'll, I'll gather. I'll play guitar. Right. I want to play guitar. I want to do something with my life. Oh, the the what's the little guitar they used to play? Mandolin. Mandolin. Yeah. Ish thing. Listen to the mandolin. I like the idea of just a teenager because they were they were in war when mm-hmm. they were thirteen. <laughs> like just a thirteen year old throwing a fit because he's got to go to war. That's just so funny to me. Oh my, my friend's birthday. I'm gonna miss my friend's birthday. Mm-hmm. God, can I just rape and pillage next week? <laughs> so fucking stupid. God. <laughs> Ugh, dragging his heavy sword behind him. God. Oh, Pick okay. up your sword. Pick up your sword. Oh, he yeah. fucking got it. Like this. You know how much money that costs? Denari or <laughs> yeah. d- Denorius? Me or whatever. DeLorean. <laughs> <laughs> fucking DeLorean. <laughs> How many DeLoreans that cost? <laughs> uh, All right. Okay, go. What's, um, what are we doing? This is... Uh, oh, someone sent this in, and I... Did I write down? Yeah. Oh, it's from Gabe. Okay. What's Our Gabe kinky doing? kinky son, <gasps> Gabe. Oh, what's up, fellow kinky Gabe? Yeah. He says mean, gape, more like gape. Am oh, I right? Am I right? Still got it. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> laughing my ass off right now. The way to get through the... Uh, <laughs> The oh way boy. to get through the forced <laughs> anal sex with the mystic. Uh, oh, yeah, to, the mystic being. I remember yeah, that. Okay, that would you rather? Is to be as creepy. Okay. Uh, he'll talk dirty. And, it, uh, yeah, set this up. It was the guy that was like with the. Uh, he would show up randomly and just. Fuck you. It was like your twice a week, five yeah. minutes, aggressive pounding. And yeah. you just, there's nothing you could do about it. And okay. he would talk dirty and all that. Okay. He'll talk dirty and imagine he gets pleasure from the control, so embrace it. Okay. You say weird shit wearing fingerless gloves <laughs> and a ball gag. Okay. I think creeping out 
<clears throat> will get you uh get you out of it or just make it worse. Either mm. way, it'll be better than fucking sandpaper. Ha <laughs> ha. That's true. Uh, not done with the episode yet. Just wanted to drop this off. Okay. So he made a comment, and then he sent a link to uh, a BuzzFeed article. All right. And I started going through some of these, and they're so funny. Go ahead and open this up. Um, so it's 25 truly surprising things that people have actually said during sex. <laughs> you need a little playbook? You're yeah. like, okay, I know. I mean, he's got a good point. Gabe's got a good point. Let's see what some things I could say. Okay. So uh, number two on the list. Okay, I'm just going to look at your pewter. Right before he finished, he called me by his mother's name, then started <laughs> crying. Aw. <laughs> started crying. What? Oh, man. What a bummer. Like, imagine, what's your mom's name? Katie? Kathleen, if we're going to... Yeah, that's... Katie doesn't... That sounds like a young Kathleen. That's more... Oh, did Kathy. You, did you just say cat? Did you just say Katie? No, I said Master Beatty. Yeah. And you kind of flipped that? <laughs> Kathleen, there's nothing it else. It was clearly... <laughs> it was clearly said. Kathleen. Yeah. <laughs> you can't learn that. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Mom. <laughs> I wonder if, she, wonder if she died or something and then he missed her. <sighs> God, that's weird. There's some weird shit that happens out there. Um, during freshman year, my boyfriend and I were getting down. Oh, when he suggests yeah. we role play as Vladimir Lenin and Anastasia, mm. he then proceeded to recite biographical facts about Vladimir Lenin, and uh, in the worst <laughs> Russian accent I've ever heard. Weirdest ninety boss. seconds of my life. No, you have mini scruple. <laughs> <laughs> you want to role play as Larpers? <laughs> You're like, she's like, what's that? You're like. You're gonna love You're it. You're gonna love it. Like immediately pulls out from like underneath the the pillows a fucking foam knife, foam sword. Here, you take this one. <laughs> you start whacking her in the face with it. Defend yourself. Defend yourself. Defend yourself. You're dead. Use this pillow as a shield. Oh, you can't use that arm anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That oh. sounds like playing with my kids. Oh, okay, pussy's- your 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 arm's gone. <laughs> uh oh, pussy's out of order. <laughs> Got to use the other hole. Like what the fuck is happening? Okay. All right. Next. All right. Uh. He started talking to the ghosts that were apparently watching. Oh. He claimed to be like the kid from the Sixth Sense. <sighs> so he's just like, there's an invisible <laughs> ghost audience watching him plow. Oh, man. Rooting I, him on. I love the idea of, of both people having the sex, um, like being familiar with the ghosts. And mm-hmm. they're just so fed up with it. Mm-hmm. Like, please keep the door open. Like, <laughs> and he's just slowly closing. Keep. <gasps> And you're like, you're, you know, you're already having sex. You're like, please, please don't close it. I need to hear the baby crying. And he's like, mm, like a dickhead ghost. And he's like, and then it opens up a little bit. And he's like, thank you. And then like a little bit further. And then, God damn it. Fuck, I'm so sick of this ghost. Uh, like an now annoying, I'm soft. annoying kid ghost. <laughs> now I'm soft. And you hear like a, <laughs> in the hallway. And the little footsteps going. And he's like, oh, lighten up. And the door opens back up. <laughs> God, live a little. He's like, God, I fucking hate this ghost. <laughs> we gotta get rid of this fucking ghost. ghost. We gotta move. Okay, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Open the door. I'm kidding. Guys, stay. <laughs> yeah, stay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay, I'm just kidding. We'll do a, uh, whatever they're called. We'll do a saging. A saging thing. Right. Yeah. No, no, I promise. I'll quit fucking with the doors. Mm. And as soon as you put it back in, it's like, <laughs> God damn. Okay. It's fucking ghost. <laughs> fucking ghost is killing I dated me. a guy who was very full of himself and nicknamed his, his, his own penis, Son of God. Mm. He used this nickname as a setup, so during sex he could say, "Are you ready for the second coming of the Son of God?" Yikes! <sighs> and yes, I am. You better be like, you better be really good. I don't you? But no, you better have a Joe Paisley cock. <laughs> well, not just a big cock, but like you, you better know be, what you what better to do be about good. It. Like, because if you're just like, yeah, you like, you like that. You She's like, like it? not really. I mean, oh well. Wait till round two. Yeah. She's like, Second coming. She's like, I'm an atheist. <laughs> oh, that's that makes sense. Okay, that makes sense. That's a good way to cancel that. I'm an that's atheist. Pull your pants up and leave. I don't care how good you are at anything. You fucking come out with fucking second coming, the son of God. Nah. Like, you better be. You better have Thor's hammer down there. <laughs> you better have a lot. You better be, I don't know, Bill Gates with a, with a honker, with a hog. <laughs> <laughs> to know what to do with it. Why'd I put that's so gross to me to think about Bill Gates with a huge dick? <laughs> yeah, and just knows how to use you, it. Because there's no way he has that. Yeah. Well, he could, Doubt but it. he just probably doesn't know how to use it. It'd have to be aftermarket. I mean, he has the uh-huh. money, the funds to do it. Like, there's no way Bill Gates he just went to came the dick farm guy. With, yeah. Just came out with a hog. He just yeah. he doesn't have hog energy. <laughs> no. No, that thing's barely there. Okay. What's next? Well, it, it, <laughs> hogs don't care about your energy. They're they're just there, right? <laughs> yeah, you just gotta they're like, hey, I'm ready when you are. Yeah. Yeah. There's no way he's got that. Uh we were having sex during the quarantine period and he stopped to say, Whew, man, what a year. <laughs> 
it was so out of place wow. and now it's becoming a running joke. God, when do you think this is going to end? You're just wait, like, wait, what'd you say? The quarantine shit. 2020. You're just, like, oh, I'm so done with 2020. God, it was a rough year. I'm glad we really, we, we stuck together. We figured it out. Any sort of small talk mm-hmm. during, that's out of place is so funny. <laughs> just like, having sex, you're like, did you lock the garage door? Yeah. What? Oh, shoot. Did we leave the, the iron on? Maybe I think I should pack the car a little bit for camping tonight so we don't have to do it all in the morning. <laughs> Like that's what I mean. That's what a couple decades in a marriage looks like, though. Yeah, like like, just, that's that is true. Just plow, and you're like, oh fuck, I forgot to pack lunches. Mm. Like God, you, just, did you, you don't pay wait. the electricity. <laughs> yeah, did you pay the heating bill? Like I asked you to. <laughs> you did. Oh good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it gets better. Uh, you didn't. <laughs> just, well, anytime, like like if he. And for the video She's side, like, I'm making you... this. No, like this is not me slapping right. the woman. I'm just trying to make sex. Noises. Yeah, yeah. Well, you but are like, backhanding though. If you're watching the video, yeah, you look. I'm just sitting like I'm fucking you, stupid <laughs> bitch. Did you pay the bill? <laughs> no, so it's not what I'm doing. It's more it's like, like a, a ass slap. Like yeah, a, I don't know what I'm doing. Pounding. I'm trying my best. We want this sound. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Yep. That running pretty fast. I'm running off flip flops. Uh, your vagina is so warm. You could bake bread in there. <laughs> what? Like that, okay. I mean, I want to believe him. It's just hard. That's a hard one to believe. It's like, God, you could, you could make a lot of stuff in here. You know what you could do? What? You could make some bread in there. <laughs> do I have a yeast infection? With the yeasty boys. Yeah, you get it. Oh, yeah. yeasty boys. Yeasty boys. All right. That's a sick bread oven. <laughs> All right. We got, we got one more. Oh, right, yeah. Okay. Uh, I was having sex with this guy and right in the middle, he said, are you still friends with Lisa? <laughs> that tall blonde? I want to fuck her so bad. What? Call her. Needless to say, not only did I call her, I called him a few choice things. Who would... What? You know what this reminds me of? Oh, that really tall blonde that you... <laughs> that you used to be really good friends yeah, with? do you think she would... Yeah, man, you know what? Oh, why do you want three-way? No, I was thinking like just me and her. Now like, I was thinking more like a two-way and you're gone? Yeah, like you're not in it. It's like a three-way, but you're in the living room? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a three-way, but you're making the sandwiches for after. <laughs> yeah. But you just like take care of us afterwards? Yeah. Like, that's my favorite kind of fucking threesome um, and then one last one is just he used his yoda voice oh boy. which star I, wars I, thing. if if it's like a if you're a star wars couple it's one thing like oh <laughs> good that feels you mm-hmm. know but if it's still no way but if you're but if like you're not <sighs> imagine if you're just like out of the way you're like fucking you i am mm-hmm. like, what what like i was just kidding yeah like, giving you the force <laughs> right oh sorry did I, did I say that weird big your penises <laughs> yeah what did you just say gigantic like, my penises <laughs> you see like she's all freaked out you're like i know i'm not very good at it yeah like, that's not the problem <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> i know i'm not good at impressions no, no, no you're I'm, not good at sex either <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm working on it but now i'm just picturing darth vader mask having sex and that's funny to me just, well, they did <gasps> Revenge of the Nerds. Oh, they did. Oh. Yeah, and it gets well, faster and faster and faster. No, <laughs> like that. He raped her oh, in it's that not movie funny anymore. Like, Never mind. Uh, that was a comedy. Yeah, <laughs> and then she fell in love with him. Good. She yeah. fell in love with him. And like they're planting uh, cameras in the locker yeah. rooms and shit. But he dr- he dressed up like her boyfriend. They had oh, sex, and then kinda. she realized who it was. She's like, "Wow, you're better than him." And then she <laughs> fell in love with him. I remember watching Classic. that along with like Porky's. Oh yeah, that one. Yeah. Those are like the the Here's early. Here's my penis. Yeah, that's funny. Were you fucking around corners? Yeah, I, I remember that line about the old curved dick. Yeah. Um, okay, let's move on to the to the next article. You want me to want me to read this you one? Have a go. All right. Um, well, talking about dicks again. So there's <laughs> that. Doctors surgically remove eight inch long wire from teenager's penis after it became stuck during a dangerous masturbation technique. Ugh. What? That's so cringy. No sounding. That's what it's called. Get you, get you in a lot of trouble sticking things up your, your pee hole. Shouldn't put metal up your pee hole. No, never. But this teenager had to have the wire surgically removed, of course. 17-year-old, who has not been named, had developed a fetish for putting electrical wire down his urethra. I'm going to go with up. Up, yeah. I think that's an up. When things are supposed to be coming out and down, that's an up. Right? Can we agree on that? Gravity. Yeah. It's gravity. Someone need to proofread this fucking article. Uh, down his urethra to satisfy or intensify his orgasms. I've never fucked with this. Does what it work? What the fuck is this ad? What is that video? Which it was one? like the growth on that. Ki- Never mind. I don't know. Um, but on one occasion, he accidentally shoved an eight inch long wire too far oh, and it became lodged Lord. inside his penis, causing him extreme pain and a huge orgasm. <laughs> Just kidding. But there's a there's a nice little medical picture of a what looks to be some sort of wire inside of a pee hole. That's fun. And then there's an X-ray. <laughs> I love the arrows. 
Like, yeah. like here, here, here. Here's the wire. Here's oh, the- really? Oh, shit. That's what that is? I guess I was like a noodle. I it does it was- look like a noodle. <laughs> it's pictured uh, like sounding with using like a, a spaghetti noodle mm. when it's hard and then you just put it in trying and bring to- it out. It's cooked. We're trying to, oh. Then that, you kind of, you know, you moistened it up a little bit. That's a fun I thought. can't imagine sticking anything in there. In there. No, I've never, never done it. Never had the urge to do it. I'm looking now. There's a picture of the wire. Cool. Ow, so do dude. You, do you orgasm with it? Like at I'm the guessing. same time? Oh, God. I don't know. I need to, I am not <laughs> versed on that. that out. Like who's the first guy? Like, you know what would be great? Let's just shove shit in there. Yeah. And like, I get there's certain things like restriction, like oh. people like, you know, like the blood flow thing, you cut yeah. that off. And then, and then when you let go while you're coming, yeah. I, I mean, I get that. I don't yeah. fuck with it, but I get it. Um, so, but sticking things in, is it just like, is it, yeah, does it go in before? You orgasm? It has to so, hurt. So it blocks oh, no. it. So it blocks it. And maybe that's like how you intensify the orgasm by like making it stay in uh, there. I, I, think I think blocking it hurts at worst, doesn't it? I think. Yeah, I'm not a big blocker. <clears throat> I mean, I, I put some, I've put some, been known to put some restriction stuff on my, on my wiener. It's oh, fun, like fun to do. Cockery. Oh, cockery. Yeah. Girth that thing up. You like it? Like that kind of stuff. How do those work? You just put them on your dick, Brian. Yeah, I know, but like how <laughs> there's if you look on the back of the box, there's one step. He says, "Put this on your ring dick. toss." Yeah, he says, "Put your dick in it." And you're like, "I can do yeah, that." Yeah, but what is it? How does it work? It just restricts the like, so the blood goes in, mm-hmm. and then the ring keeps it from like just being able to go right back out. So like it constricts it, like you're choking your ween. Yeah, and keep yeah. So that's but that cool. that makes it feel good. Yeah, or it keeps it hard. A little bit of both, I think. Okay. I don't know. You ever use one, Zach? I have not. Oh. They make ones with like little ticklers on it, like little vibrators. Turn mm. your dick into a vibrator. That's pretty sweet. God, I just want to, this, can I just bring you guys, actually, I think Zach's, I guess we'll bring you. Bring all the toys. Let's go to like, let's go to Adam and Eve. And we'll just, I'll just walk you down the aisle. I'm like, what's this? I'm like, that's a big rubber butt. No, hmm, I'm, I'm I know I'm kidding. Be like, where does this go? I'm like that. <laughs> Come here, bad guy. Like I know, I know, I know what I'm a just, cock ring is. I just don't know. I didn't know. Like I'm gonna make you use it. There's the a dressing purpose. There's for a it. dressing room. So you have to try it on. Yeah, <laughs> try it on. Uh, it's it's too big. Little, too spin, small. Spin. Do a little spin. Let me take a look. <laughs> oh, that's way too big. <laughs> you, <laughs> you do a, you do a spin. And it goes whip. It like flies <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> too big. Too big. Can we get a smaller size? <laughs> 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 don't say it like that. Well, it has to fit, Brian. I'm not walking around with you with a big old loose cock ring on there. Um, <laughs> that'd be ridiculous. That'd be ridiculous. All right, let's steer clear of some dick talk for a little bit. Okay, that sounds uh, good. And let's I, get a little educated with um with uh, with Zach. All right, sit on his lap. I'll be a cat. Let's pretend to be a cat. Just don't have a cock ring on when we sit in your lap. No promises, Zachy Poo. Hey, little chitrons, why don't you come take a seat on Uncle Zachy's lap? <laughs> Gather around, boys and girls. It's lap time with Uncle Zach. Sit on my lap, you little shits. <laughs> you little shits. Sit on my lap, you, you little, little shits. shits. All right, what are we doing today? What do you, what, what you got cooking for us, we Uncle got, Zach? We got something fun. Hold on, let me switch mics. Okay, switch mics. Hi. Hi. Oh, hey. Today we're going to learn about money. Okay. <clears throat> money <clears throat> stuff. Cash money. I'm going to put my economic fucking background to use for you guys. Okay, looking forward to it. So there's four ways to spend money, according to a few economists. Uh, one of them is spending your money on yourself. Okay. So imagine how much time you spend if you're picking out like the studio. How long did you spend picking out each piece? Mm, long time. Right. If there's well, anything for yourself, when you're spending your money that you worked hard on. Okay. You don't treat yourself. Get, mm-hmm. Yeah. So you put the most effort into self getting, getting the most value for your money and getting the highest quality. Does it count the, the, like spending money on rent and stuff? Is that on yourself? No. Okay. Well, this is kind of like more gifts and just how money flows. Okay. But okay. Yeah, non nece- non necessity. Would you say that? Yeah, I guess so. Well, Close we'll get food. To this. You'll see. Okay, it's okay. really yeah, just the- shut up, Joe. You <laughs> stupid, big dumb bitch. <laughs> this, it's really the philosophy of our minds. Kick I- the back of my chair in the classroom. Shut up, you fucking idiot. <laughs> all right, sorry, Zach, go ahead. No, it's all good. <laughs> it's really just how we think about money. Okay. So we spend more time thinking about when we spend our own hard-earned money on ourselves. Mm-hmm. And so you get the highest value. So if you're going to think about it, think of four ways of spending money in like a, a box, like with four boxes in it. This okay. is the best way to spend money is on yourself. You all get right. the highest value, highest quality. Got it. The second best way is to spend your money on someone else. All right. So if you think about buying a gift for someone, 
you know, how hard you work to make the money still. Mm -hmm. But now it's not about you. And so you might spend, you might take a, a discount mm. or you might get something like instead of the XE, you get the LE. Okay. So like, I'm going to buy, <coughs> I'm, I bought myself an iPhone tw like 14 Max, mm -hmm. but I bought you an iPhone 14. Exactly. Okay. Or awesome. you, you bought yourself a giant switchblade and you got me like a. <laughs> got you a tiny one. It's still a switchblade, but still nice. Yeah. But. You're like, what are you complaining about? Switchblade. <laughs> and you're looking at mine, you're like, okay. It's, yours is big. <laughs> yours is bigger though. <laughs> Why you're so big? Okay, I got it. Okay, so most people won't agonize as much on getting the best quality for someone else as themselves. That's you obvious. look for that deal, and, then, and you know they'll get quality, but it won't be as high as what you got for yourself. So that's the second best value. Now you have when you spend someone else's money on yourself. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah, so think about when the boss gives you the company card. Mm. So how do you spend it? Yeah, exactly. Mm. Do you get dessert? Do you get, fuck yeah, you do. Yeah, you get the lobster stuffed in a fucking steak. I think I will have another round at Top Golf. Thank you. <laughs> you get the wine, you get all that stuff. Just uh, went to a Top Golf, by the way, guys. It's been a while. No, it's, they're still fun. They're still fun. Right. You guys even know what the fuck I'm talking about? Cool, dude. Fuck okay. yeah, Top Golf salsa. Just want to remind you guys, it's dynamite cool. drop in. Thanks. Did you dr do driving? Is that what you did? I did all the things, hit all the holes. Where is it at? This one was in San Francisco. Oh, I was going to say, there's First, not one around here. San, San Jose. I don't know why I'm, I just. I guess I, when I brought up spending money at San Jose. Yeah, we get it. You go cool places, God Joe. God damn it. <laughs> you do go cool places. Oh, Joe and his big dick. <laughs> I, I was like, hey, Joe, what are you up to? Did He's you like, even use a club or did you just swing your dick at Top Golf? <laughs> I just stood next to the ball and got hard. <laughs> yeah, last time I saw, I sent him a message. He's like, oh, I can't talk right now. I'm at a baseball game. It's in San Francisco. It's like, you <laughs> yeah. don't live there, you son of a bitch. Uh, all right, guys. All right. Okay, that's the third way. Got it. Well, yeah, people care less about the cost and often they'll, things, they'll think things like, oh, the boss can afford it. Like, you know, or I deserve this or whatever. Mm -hmm. You didn't earn the money. So the money gets wasted a little bit more. Okay. But your quality will be high on yourself. Okay. So that's the third best way to spend. So not good. Now the last way. This is the worst way to spend money. Spending someone else's money on someone else. So <laughs> not only do you not know where the money came from that you're spending, but you don't know who it's being spent on. So your human care meter is at its lowest. And that's back to oh, the monkey gotcha. sphere, right? Okay. So they're just faceless, nameless people both the the source of the money and where it's going so like, you can't you cannot physically care as much and it maximizes waste and minimizes efficiency and when you think about it this is how government spends money they take money from faceless masses and redistribute it to nameless recipients okay and this is probably why i don't know for sure why there are five hundred dollar hammers and a thousand dollar toilet seats in the government receipts right because they don't give a fuck because yeah. monkey sphere yeah so when you think about the areas that do this, like if you think about just government schools, we know for a fact that private schools crush government schools. Right. It's possible that that's because government schools are funded by people that nobody knows who, where the money comes from. And, you know, you don't know the names of the kids. It's just going to random stuff. Private school, you're spending your money on that education. So you're going to talk to the teachers more. Just depends. I mm -hmm. don't know if that's for sure, but it kind of speaks to whenever you see government spending money, they do it the worst possible way. So that's why whenever I hear people talk about like, hey, we need the government to fix this thing. It's like, well, maybe we should think about a private solution before, mm -hmm. a, you know, a coalition of people. Because if you do charity and you give money to a homeless person, that's the effective way of spending your money on someone else. That's better than, say, having the government do it. Because they won't, they'll have the big bureaucracy. They'll mm -hmm. have, you know, and it's often hoops. it's often where the stereotype of uh, government workers all standing around a hole. Like, it's so true in a lot of ways because they just they don't care. Like there's they, you have a job and you they just send five people to go do a job. They don't know what the job is, mm -hmm. and so you have one person digging and then five people watching that person dig. <laughs> it feels like it's kind of the nature <laughs> it's, it's of our so world. true. When yeah. you mix the monkey sphere with these four ways of spending money, you see a lot of the problems that we have. We can't care, but Those we pretend overlap. Mm -hmm. we pretend the solution to everything is the government way to spend money, but it's just demonstrably false. Mm -hmm. So that's my that's my follow up to the monkey sphere. What about charities? Where did where would we put charities in this box of money? They're pretty much the same as government in a lot of ways. It depends on the charity, like more targeted, like. Because, you, you know, whatever, let's just pick one. I don't know, one that I'm just thinking about right now would be Oprah and The Rock and raising a bunch of money to give money to Maui right. the, for after their natural, their fire situation. Well, they're raising money from people they don't know. Right, and, and giving, giving, it giving it to people, people they, they don't, don't know. know. Yeah, which is still probably the only way to do that. Like they have but, a connection, they love that place. 
Right. So is that limit like is that a little bit better? It it, it is. They have a little some better. sort of personal tie to it. If there was a if you knew the charity and you knew that the charity was you know scrupulous and they didn't spend ninety percent of the money on the building and the, their pay, uh. you know that's that's kind of where you find that. But it's still a less efficient way of spending money. It'd be better if Oprah just gave, you know, if she could, went to each person and gave them the money. Yeah, you know that would be better. I guess yeah, it, it's it kind of leaks itself back into the second option, like your money on something that you like at least you feel like you know where it's going yeah yeah <laughs> like you feel like it's a person but, but then they're th- spending it on people that they don't know but yeah you know. well if you if you're let's say you're at a store or like i go to petco to get food or whatever and it says you want to donate money to uh the a dog foundation mm-hmm. and you're like of course i want to save the dogs but like how much of that money is help actually helping dogs and not just paying for someone that's Mm-hmm. That's the thing. With charities, the there's such or, a yeah. You don't know. There's a spectrum of charities that no, a just, lot of them are just making money. Yeah. I was curious where that would lie on the on the spectrum where charities would be. So what you're saying is, quit spending money on other people. <laughs> is just that what be you're saying? selfish as fuck and only spend on yourself. Yes. No. What no. I wish I could do. And I just had this thought the other day. There was a there were these two people walking across the street. Um, they were they were leaving a grocery store. And they were walking either home or walking to the the bus and they were carrying a bunch of bags. And I I just had this thought to be like, God, I wish I could just, I wish I had the funds where I could just walk up and be like, here, take this car and just give them the car. And I was like, I'll find a way home. I'll buy another car. But here, (laughs) just take this. My other car is driving itself here. Yeah. I think about that all the time. But it was like, fuck. That's how, if I had a ton of money, I know that about myself that that's what I would do. Because I, I do that now when I like I just give things away and uh, people have to tell me like, well, you could have sold that. And mm-hmm. I'm like, well, I could have, but they didn't. They didn't. <laughs> yeah. This person didn't have that. I just wanted to give it to them. Yeah, the fifty bucks that I could have made them pay me was not going to change my <clears throat> life. So yeah, it was like, fuck? but it's going to change theirs. Yeah, exactly. That's when, one of the things I love about podcasting is as these big audiences grow and grow. It gives us the ability to raise money for things that we want to help with. I like that a lot about podcasting. Yeah. And we have wonderful people that listen. Well, yeah, there's usually like a solid foundation of people listening. Yeah. And you, you build a nice little community. Going to the third option about spending someone else's money on like on something, like on a your, business. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think that I always do ask up front, like, okay, especially when it comes to video and audio shit. It's like, okay, no, I got it. Like, I, I can do this. I can build this studio. Where, you got, you got, but you got to look at this with me. Where do you want me to cut corners and where do you not? Mm-hmm. Like, or do you not want to cut any corners and you want the best shit on everything? Or do you just want like the most important things to be the best and everything else you're like, ah, I don't fucking care? Because, like, because there's that's the difference between a studio costing uh, $3,000 and $30,000. Like, it's a huge difference between the best equipment and stuff that like will probably work, but you don't really know. Yeah, I've been I've worked at jobs where we needed media equipment for videos and for shooting stuff. And they're like, Well, we got X amount of dollars to spend. I'm like, <laughs> Good luck. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Have fun. Yeah. Cause they, cause people don't know what is takes to do certain things. It's like anything else. So like I don't know what it takes to build a house, you know, and someone that's really proficient in that can break it down. Mm-hmm. So if you say, oh, I want to spend five grand, they're like <laughs> Yeah, okay. right. But in my head, I'm like, well, I don't know. I maybe. Maybe you want to redo the 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 whole basement. Or you just want to redo this corner. Yeah, because and it's gonna be way more than that, bud. I could drywall that wall. <laughs> just that's that. it. No mud, nothing else. Yeah, that's all you're gonna get for 500 bucks. Yeah, um, that all makes sense. Well, in the scenario that you said, you would probably you know spending someone else's money on not really on yourself but on your job. Yeah, mm-hmm. you so making your job better. You would probably if they didn't give you a limit, you would go but get the best stuff. I mean, I watched you do that. I, mean, I know you did. Some, you did cut some corners, but not really. Yeah. Well, and I also, but I was also told to get the best stuff. Right. 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 Um, you also but even, but even then, but I it did went over budget probably. Oh yeah. I You're mean, pretty I did good at that shit though. I did cut some corners, like even knowing I could have gotten the best of something. I know that it doesn't matter. <laughs> like there's certain things that it doesn't matter if it's the best or that or it's not like they're all the fucking same it's like uh like a designer brand same thing it's like this is a t-shirt but then this one was made by fucking yeezy so it's five thousand dollars it's like yeah. it's still a t-shirt well the, so there's that in every single field where you can just compromise marilyn manson i 
I saw this one time. Marilyn Manson shirts, you know, they go for 20 bucks. The one with his face mm -hmm. um, for years and years. And then Justin Bieber licensed that design and sold it through his thing. And it was like a $300 shirt. <laughs> it was the same. I don't know if it was a different material. Probably not. <laughs> but it was the same exact shirt, same design. Mm -hmm. It was like a $300 shirt. Fuck, man. That same shirt that you get at Hot Topic for 25 but what, bucks. But what if you're buying it for yourself? We back into box one. <laughs> the best way to spend money? That is yeah. not the best way to spend money. I'm not buying <laughs> Unless you really, I guess so, if you care about a $300 shirt. Well, yeah, if you want to be ever. able to say this is, like a lot of people didn't even, probably didn't know who Marilyn Manson was. They just like, it's part of Justin Bieber's line. So they just wanted that shirt, not yep. realizing you could go to Hot Topic and get it for twenty five bucks. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that was that was fascinating stuff. Lap time, Zach, Zachy Packy. That was a lot of fun. So make sure when somebody says, "Hey, let, let the government do it," just remember it's the worst way for money to be used. <laughs> yeah, it's not very uh, effective or efficient. One thousand dollar toilets. Yeah, good stuff. All right, man. Well, thank you. Thanks for the lesson. Love my, you. My pleasure. Love you. Uh, all right. Let's take a look at something that, uh, did you, is this good news or did you find something on the web? What are we looking um, at? So this, <laughs> oh, this, this is, is, uh, okay. is the egg story. All right. It's not necessarily like, I, I mean, it is good news. Okay. It's positive. All right. Roll it, Zach. The internet is pretty wild. Depending on your browsing habits, you can either experience something super cool or go to prison. Crazy, right? Let's check it out together as a couple. Hey, look what I found. Yes! That's awesome! Show me. I say this a lot, but I gotta see that video of that dude dancing without it moving around. The de in the, oh, oh, yeah. the intro, that's just one of my favorite things yeah. of all time. Find the raw footage of that. Yeah, yeah. Dude. <laughs> Um, So this is a, a crazy story about an egg <laughs> and an old lady. Sounds like the opening of a children's book. <laughs> um, <laughs> there once was a woman who had an egg. <laughs> had an egg. Old lady. Mary Foss Stern and several of her friends were packing eggs into cartons at an Iowa factory in 1951 when they hatched a goofy plan to liven up their workday. <laughs> you know, it'd be silly. So there's a long article. I'm not going to read the whole thing. So yeah. basically what they did was they wrote on some eggs and then um, <laughs> this woman wrote, whoever gets this egg, please write me. And because they thought it would go out into the thing and, mm -hmm. you know, like maybe a few days, few weeks, few months, maybe something happened. Some time went by, nothing ever happened. It, you know, she it was like, well, that didn't work. You don't really think about it, and then must have broke, right? Or so, yeah, someone used it, and then they mm -hmm. broke, and then they got a million dollars. That's the whole thing. Um, but then, so long story short, seventy years later, whatever it was, <laughs> that it it had been someone had found this thing. And saw what it is, and they kept it for forever, That's and passed ass. it down to someone else. Then the, the this person had that, yeah. Found out the person's name, looked up all, did all this research to find the woman, yeah. And she was still alive. What? And so she was like ninety something. Yeah, she was ninety. Uh, I think she was like ninety two oh, or something yeah, like that. that. Yeah, she's now ninety two. Um, and so. The the egg the, the whole thing found the way back to it. They got a hold of this woman, mm -hmm. and she was like, "Hey, remember the egg that you signed seventy years ago, or whatever?" Mm -hmm. That and that's so I don't know. That's so crazy to me. Something that you did seventy. I mean, mm -hmm. fucking a lot of people don't live to seventy, <laughs> right. and you're just you're just like, "Hey, remember that thing you did when you were." 18 she's like no she's like i don't know i don't remember when i was i don't remember being 70 i don't remember yesterday what the fucking <laughs> yeah. egg are you talking about yeah. <laughs> but it lasted that fucking long that's cool and of course if she remembers like mm -hmm. the, the nostalgia or like you place yourself back her friends are probably all gone maybe she that hated business. working there just, yeah she's like <gasps> like ptsd mm -hmm. that'd be terrible and then remember died. this egg you signed yeah <gasps> Freaks out and has <gasps> a heart attack <laughs> what a, whoever got the egg first kind of a dick move to just look at it and be like, that's kind of cool. And just put it up. Yeah. On the it's like if you went to the, <laughs> imagining a message in the bottle. You're, you know, whatever, you're down at the ocean. You're depressed. You're sad. Right? And you're like, I'm going to see some waves. And you're standing down there and you're throwing rocks in the ocean. And a uh, message in the bottle rolls up. And you grab it and you look at it and you just fucking throw it into the rocks. <laughs> 
<laughs> like, not my problem. Stupid message. <laughs> monkey spear, baby. Too not sad my for this. Not my problem. Fuck you. Yeah. Like, Lady's not in the monkey spear. Such a dick move. You get out and you read it, and it's like, please, like, help. It has, like, all these things. Let's say, like, 15 people have all signed it and put it back out into the water, and there's, like, a blank spot you find. It's like, just sign it and let it go, and you're like, man, you <laughs> throw it in the fire pit and start your fire with it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just such a dick thing. That's funny. I was also Call the thinking, lady back. Fuck. I was also thinking like they're <laughs> stranded on an island. We're on an island 15, 15 miles west of Hawaii. Please help <laughs> this us. This is the, today's the, date. The guy's like, <laughs> he's not even a, 15 miles, more like 18. I'm not fucking going there. <laughs> it's not worth my time. West, though. barely. <laughs> I know exactly what island you're talking about. You fucking maybe that, that was Gilligan's Island. <laughs> You'd be lost forever, idiots. Like, I saw that show. It was a joke. <laughs> We're on this island, blah blah. Here's the date. We only have rations for three more weeks. And like you look at it, and it's you know it's just over three weeks. Yeah, and you're like, ah, they're probably right. dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, everyone. Uh, nah, everyone always eats a little more than they're yeah. supposed to on those islands. Yeah, in a starving situation. Yeah, one some asshole ate the <laughs> ate half the rations. I don't, he was a, hungry. I don't have a boat. What am I going to do with it? <laughs> Throw it into the trees. <laughs> I love the idea that he just lights it on fire, starts his fire with it. It's like I'm freezing. <laughs> <laughs> he's so cold. He's like, ah, it sucks, and and, warm, just, and then the, the flames rise are going like that, and then it dissolves <laughs> back to the island, and you see the people. See the people like someone's gonna help us. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I have a good feeling about it. Yeah, the camera, like, you know, cuts, dissolves back over, and it's their fire going out, <laughs> <laughs> and their hands are freezing. <laughs> All right, okay, well, you're gonna show me something you found this week. Hey, real quick. Yeah. I, this is Hooray, We're Not Doomed, right? Uh, this, Yeah, this is yeah. Hooray, We're Not Doomed. Okay, well, I did a dumb producer thing and pushed the wrong thing, so you're oh. gonna hear the intro twice. Oh, that's okay. No, I'm idiot. a dumb. That's I was fine. juggling. I had to do my segment, and I'm <laughs> And then do the next I, one. Oh, yeah, it's so it, hard. Well, how about we just don't even do the segment thing? We just yeah, do two, hey, look what I found. Yeah. Okay. Great. Yeah, fuck right. it. Because right. it wasn't really like the We're Not Doomed. Yeah, that's pretty cool, though. Because some, somebody did hang on to it for too long and didn't <laughs> give it back so all right what's the other thing that you found um this was sent in by our son luke okay what luke do uh he what did he write what'd you write luke sent he said sent in by our stupid disappointment of a son those were his words yeah, yeah well I, I was gonna say something but um so he sent a link to a movie called the aeronauts okay and it's, oh, about, it's about fucking hot, <laughs> hot air balloons <laughs> fucking them yeah. What? No, it's about. I, I think it's it's based on a true story about like one of the original. Like I think there were um, ballooners, ballooners for like, <laughs> but it was actually for weather. They're like, if we can, if we can uh, harness the power. Yeah, if we can find out the weather, we could save lives. Oh, man. But it's the dude that played. Uh, it's the dude that played the uh, what's his name? The scientist that died. It was in the wheelchair. Um, <laughs> Uh, God damn it Stephen Hawking Stephen Hawking It's that Eddie Redmayne guy <laughs> Oh gotcha. And Felicity Jones I like her There's something about her mouth <laughs> She's got a pretty mouth <laughs> Yeah Anyway It looks like a pretty decent movie Are we gonna Should we play um, a little bit of the trailer? No <laughs> I'm I bringing guess. it up oh, Okay Oh you shit No I'm bringing it up Not hey. yet Will you help me? You're incredibly late Are you ready? You have no conception of how ready I am Oh, and they're getting right in that balloon. Yeah, and she's in the basket. Inspired by true events. <laughs> Inspired by, I love that. <laughs> oh no! It's, there's a big storm. <laughs> That's my picture. This is how every hot air balloon yep. trip goes. Mm -hmm. You have experience of lack of oxygen to the brain. What have we to lose? Our lives. This is going to be more important than our lives. <laughs> <laughs> this is more important than her lives. <laughs> this is the funny thing about that whole <laughs> that whole movie, right? Has ever been. Still no is sign of them. them saying inspired on true events because you know the real event mm -hmm. was them sitting in a wet basket. Yeah, <laughs> like that's <laughs> there's no Hollywood's not not making that movie. They're just like, like this zip, sucks. <laughs> like flying around in a storm. <laughs> Yeah. Like the real one is like they're just wet and they're hanging balloon. off ropes. It's like a fucking action movie. It's a mission. It could be a Mission Impossible. Yeah, scene. it looks. That's what it looked like. There's a, watch the scene right at the end here when right. um, it looks like there's Titanic. <laughs> they're up. It's fucking freezing. Look. Yeah, James and the Giant. Look, at, she's climbing up on top of this thing and it's frozen. <laughs> watch, watch this. Okay, something cool gonna happen. Yeah. Oh, she's slippies. She started sliding up. Yeah, okay. 
<laughs> and the, but the real story, the real yeah, story, it's just, yeah. they're just wet and, and they're it's, they're in a wet basket they're, and they're cold. They're cold. Yeah, and they're like, this is a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, roll credits. <laughs> <laughs> like we never should have gotten this hot air balloon. <laughs> Steven Spielberg. We should have never have done this. This was a terrible idea. It's a terrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> Tim Burton. <laughs> It does look like a Tim Burton. It does. Movie. Okay. Well, that's good. Maybe we should have a little watch. We should try to watch it. Yeah. It doesn't have great reviews. I've seen them out in the corner, but I'm not going to read them. I don't want to know. I don't have any spoilers. Yeah. I don't, uh, I don't care about reviews. <laughs> fuck them. Fuck them, dude. Fuck. All right. Let's hear from some of the kids. Okay. All right. He's Zeke. Oh, no. Are you ready? What are you doing up there? <laughs> All right, let's hear what you guys think. Really? You want to talk to me? Wow, that's cool. I want you to pretend Chloe's bothering you. <laughs> once I fuck up once, then it's like 60 <laughs> it's times after that. You're yeah. spiraling out there. You're like, you didn't, what are you doing? You're fucking everything up. Dude, I'm just sweating in my head. <laughs> when hey, I me? when I was running graphics and audio for, for the new, for fucking live news. <laughs> oh, new, Have you uh, ever heard of the news? <laughs> the news. Dude, it was terrifying because you would do something <laughs> and then you'd be late and they're like, can we get this thing? I'm like, I'm trying. And then you, so then you fall backwards and you're like trying to catch up. So you're going too fast. <laughs> the best is when you overlay two graphics. Mm-hmm. You put one up and like shit and you try to get it off and then you just lay another one like sideways on it. Mm-hmm. And you're like, Ugh! I and did then that. I advance so. the font and it's like the wrong name. <laughs> Like, oh, fuck. I do that so much in Isby Dama. It was ridiculous. Oh, it it's happens. like, oh, okay, I can't undo this now. I'm like, Joe, can you come out of there and come in and, and help come me? in and fix these? <laughs> um, okay, let's, let's, let's listen to, the, to what's happening in the world. Cool setup. This is coming in from our hoodlum son, <laughs> Curtis, who writes, Oh, I remember. Re- this guy's, I mean, he just went on a tear. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to try and read it because uh, there's so many caps. I'm going to try and do the, the proper reading of the caps. Uh, it says, Hey, fuck Force 2.0. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I don't call y'all daddy. As the only person I refer to, refer to that is my wife. <laughs> Recently became part of the gaggle. So I'm taking my next round through the catalog for the bonus content. Third round, to be honest. This is your drunk as fuck son, Curtis, writing in about shit I did as a kid. For starters, my buddy Darren and I used to do a lot of stupid shit. <laughs> Have you ever heard of spear grass? If not, fuck! <laughs> yeah, I was hoping you were going to do that. <laughs> fuck! <laughs> Imagine aerodynamic cactus needles that stick in your skin when thrown, but it's not long fucking grass seeds. <laughs> I love the drunkness in here. Mm-hmm. It's like the way that, I mean, you know, it's not like it's just fucking, fucking regular fucking grass. Mm-hmm. Um, Like a little fucking fairy spears. Thank you, Central Texas! <laughs> also, when you run out of BBs during a one-on-one BB gunfight... <laughs> What do you use for ammo? How about grasshoppers? <laughs> yes, but tra- you haven't truly lived till you had a bunch of still twitching grasshopper legs embedded in your skin. When you grow up in the county, country, country, uh, where the nearest gas station is eight miles away, sometimes the thought is, it probably won't kill me. <laughs> like getting drunk at your buddy's 18th birthday party and jumping his neighbor's fence to ride the cows or working at an exotic animal auction where they have gnu and water buffalo, which your best friend tries to shock with a cattle prod in the fucking nuts <laughs> while you're 12 foot up on a catwalk trying to manually operate a wooden gate. This is so funny. <laughs> anyway, just thought I'd share a bit about just a fraction of the interesting and dumb shit I've done as a dumbass teenager. Love you, daddies, and love being a part of the gaggle. He just calls daddies. Y'all, yep, yeah, you fucking did it. P.S. Don't tell my wife about calling y'all daddy. That's how he spelled. That's how he spelled bye. He spelled bye. Bye. That was fun. That was a wild adventure. Yeah, I love that. Good stuff. Uh, all right. All right. What's the, what's the seckies? Our second email come from our son, Jonathan. This <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. is a funny open. Is it? Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, I, th- I thought you meant the title. <laughs> no. Bonjour, hog sniffers. <laughs> While away for a birthday trip to Hilton's uh, Hilton Head, South Carolina. What the fuck is that? Hilton Head? Hilton Head, South Carolina. My three-year-old son and I decided some barbecue at recently reviewed local spot. Mm. After getting seated and, br- and browsing the menu, I couldn't help but notice the lifted Suburban with borderline illegal tints that arrived. <laughs> I see it. Shortly thereafter, the waitress seated the family close by us. Okay. The dad looked like... <laughs> the, 
the dad looked like if Lou Frigno and St- so anybody doesn't know Lou Frigno, he's the Hulk. Mm-hmm. Lou Frigno and Steve Buscemi had a baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's ugly. Picturing those cats, oh, those yeah, faces on some cats. Dude. Whew. Okay. Uh, most certainly, he, he most certainly abused steroids and was wearing the tightest affliction shirt I'd ever seen. <laughs> After an unhealthy, over tan wife <laughs> made a comment about their kid's behavior, he dug his nails into the table and muttered something <laughs> under his breath with his eyes closed while his neck <laughs> veins pulsated. Jesus. This picture. This scary <laughs> guy. <laughs> his shirt is just like. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the fabric snapping. Like, oh, come on, hold on, shirt, What's he hold gonna on. Do? No shirt, no service. <laughs> right at that moment, the waitress asked if they wanted to start off with some drinks. This guy picked <laughs> his head up, and with his eyes still closed, uh, with one fell swoop, cracked all the bones in his neck. <laughs> With his left hand, he held it for a minute. Then, out with a sigh, he just emptied his balls. Like he just, like emptied, he his just balls. emptied his balls. <sighs> <sighs> Red flags went up for sure. I immediately started assessing my exit strategy. <laughs> if the guy flipped over the table and started shooting up the place, <laughs> nice. Thank you forever for making me acutely aware and paranoid the danger of men who crack their next pose. <laughs> Love the show and live for Wednesdays now. I mean, you're just, oh. you know what the topper would have been. You know you have to go to a new restaurant if that guy had fingerless leather gloves mm. on. Like mm. that shirt, that face, scratching the table and going, what the fucking shit? <laughs> hey, me. <laughs> what if that's what he was <laughs> saying to himself? Yeah. He's hey, like, me. Grabbing the table like, <laughs> me again. <laughs> hey, me. It's me again. <laughs> Don't do anything stupid. <laughs> Don't do anything. Remember do thing that I wouldn't do. You know, what's the thing about regret? <laughs> you can't change it. Hey, me. <laughs> That's a, like, that would be terrifying to hear somebody say that to themselves. <laughs> <laughs> like the, the opening of every internal dialogue is like, hey, me, it's me again. It's me again. Oh, well, God. Oh, no. This guy's like a mental diary. <laughs> I could say, I, I know this. a man today. I killed this guy. And I'm in my, and uh, he's in the back of my suburban. <laughs> and my family doesn't know. I could probably kill them and get away with it. There's plenty of room. <laughs> Suburbans are huge. Can I get you guys any drinks? <laughs> <laughs> She'll fit in there too. <laughs> hey, you! It's me again. <laughs> okay, let's get out of here. That was a, that was a fun episode. Uh, hey, you! It's me again. <laughs> Good stuff. Uh, sign up and part of hey, the gaggle. Joel. Hey, over twenty five hours of bonus content. I don't even know where we're at at this point. We're recording quite a ways in, in the future. Might be over twenty six to twenty seven <laughs> now. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, Patreon doc Patreon dot com slash Can You Don't Podcast. There's three different tiers. You get merch discounts, all that shit. Um, so go check it out. The link to Daniel's, Zach talked about it at the front, we let his house burn down, all of his shit lost in a fire up here in the Northwest. We have a link to his GoFundMe in the episode description as well. If you can donate, then Thank that would you. be yeah greatly appreciated. Uh, you can also head over and check out everything that Scatcast has going on. They're also selling some spoons. Get Spoon some spoons. man. Come together with your spoons. No, with your spoons. And your money. Uh, Come together with that link. <laughs> uh, Scatcast. S K A T C A S T dot com. All the podcasts that Mr. Flannery does. Um, I, I don't even, I mean, we I never even say your last name. Nope. You're just fucking Zach. <laughs> Mr. Flannery. <laughs> Mr. Flans. I guess I do sometimes say Flannery. Uh, but all the shows you do, plus you can uh, check out those spoons at scatcast.com. Uh, Thank thanks to all the babysitters that run the Facebook page. That's awesome. Uh, if you can rate and review us wherever you listen to the podcast, it just takes five seconds. It does huge things for our show. So please consider doing that. And then send in content you want to see on the show to hey guys at can you don't podcast.com. What a pro. Thanks, dude. What do you have for the end of the shit fucking thing? Uh, a little, little joke. A little joke. A little jokey poo. All right. Let's fucking hit. <laughs> Good God. Wrap it up already, huh? They're coming for the eggs. <laughs> <laughs> it's a drive-by attempt, Frank. That was the neighbor's car backfiring. <laughs> They're coming for the eggs. <laughs> just promise me, everyone listening, look it up. You yeah, have you to. have to look it up. Just put emu and just put coming yeah. for the eggs. That's, that's all you need. Okay, it'll make your day. It will. All right, hit me with a with a juggy. Hit me with your best joke. Mm-hmm. Um. Okay. How do you get a good price on a sled? Steal it. No. You have to bargain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have ah, toboggan. Yeah. I get it because it's a toboggan and a bargain. Yeah, it's a toboggan.
And you're from New York or wherever, <laughs> uh, however, they, wherever they talk like that. You have to bargain. How do you get a good deal on a sled? You're like what? You have to bargain for it. <laughs> yeah, you have to bargain for it. Well, <laughs> you got to find one that's, that's on sale. That's just a good fact. <laughs> you got to find one that's on sale. Factoid. Yeah, love that. Go to a pawn shop and <laughs> get yourself a. You idiot! Quit playing full full price for toboggans. <laughs> what? <laughs> Refuse to buy full Anybody, price. Anybody? Uh, that's why I never buy new, man. <laughs> As soon as you drive the toboggan off the lot, <laughs> just like, the here. value just <laughs> just fucking diminishes. Whip, slides, slides right out below you. Try it. <laughs> Lickety split, right? It's like, is this a fucking joke or a lesson? It just keeps snowballing, too. It keeps dropping. <laughs> I get it, snowballs. Yep. Um, okay, let's fuck this. Kids, we'll see you guys next week. You are part of the gaggle. The show keeps going. We'll be in the new studio. Oh, yeah. Next week. That's exciting. Oh, yeah. So let's say goodbye this. to the studio. Bye, studio. Bye. Loved you. You did a good job. Got the show going. We're moving to a new spot. I don't even, we don't really even know what the background's going to look like in the new one, but you're yeah. going to find out when we do. Yay. That's what? Risky. What? <laughs> They're going to find out when we do? Well, kind of. Because <laughs> mm. we don't really know. It's going to be something like what it is right now. Mm. We just don't know exactly what, because the space isn't the exact same. So we'll figure it out. Mm. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. All, All right. right. Fucking bye. Bye. Bye.